buhay. Isang mainit na pagbati mula sa puso, mula sa aming lahat dito sa Bridget. Isang pagbati po ng uh, mapayapa, malusog at uh, magandang gabi sa isang special na araw. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all our third viewers here and abroad. Good evening and good morning to all our viewers worldwide. I'm truly honored to join you tonight. And good afternoon from wherever you're at. And once again, thanks for tuning in. Good evening to all our viewers around the world. This is one of the best episodes we will have in Bridges, certainly, Ma'am Evelyn, right? Totoo yan, because tonight, we're going to feature very, two very well-known natin. Po, oh, ano kanina, nung greetings yung kanina, sabi ko, ay, worldwide pala ito, kaya dapat eh, <laughs> i-cover ko lahat ng mga greetings ng morning, afternoon, and evening. Thank you very much for joining Hello. us this very early morning there in LA. Hindi ko, hindi, hindi ko nga pinagtulog tong anak ko para gisingin lang ako. Kaya hanggang ngayon gising pa sila. <laughs> Siyempre, kailangan ko munang batiin ang ating mga kasamahan na Tomasino dito sa Bicol. Ang mga Tomasinong Bicolano, marami po sa kanilang nanonood ngayon. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-invite sa akin dito at magandang gabi. At thank you sa mga viewers. I'm so glad po and it's really a big privilege to be here po in this episode of Bridges. Sa USC Hospital din po ako pinanganak. Kaya talagang tumasyan po ako. Tumasyan. Tumasyan all the way. Welcome to the show. Ang ganda pala ko lang sinabi ko. Hindi po na narinig. So, hi everyone and nice to be back. I'm so glad to be here on Bridges. At naway magkaroon tayo lang ma-fruitful na pag-usapan. So, Father, good afternoon. Marami ba mga mga youth ngayon, mga kabataan, mga K-pop. Anong sa'yo? Magandang gabi din sa ating mga fellow Tomasians and all those who are watching. I'm glad for trusting me <laughs> for this particular um, very important topic. Kailangan <laughs> natin ng mga yes. bridges na katulad ninyo at marami po na tumutulong sa ating uh, mga uh, adhikain. In the Filipino culture, we always say that ang ama ay siyang haligi ng tahanan. But with the passing of time, with the changing of family values, the practices, and life's numerous challenges, totoo pa kaya ito? Can we still say ang ama ang siyang haligi ng tahanan? This episode is in honor of all fathers, and it is brought to you by Katinko, ang pambansang pamahid, and the USC Alumni Association, Inc., the Mother Association of All Alumni Associations at USD. This is Attorney Dwight Ramos. Good afternoon, good evening, and good morning to all our viewers worldwide. And this is Dr. Aleli Sabilia. Warm greetings to all our friends and fellow Tomasians, wherever you are. Welcome to Bridges. At Siyempre, gusto ko naman batiin lahat ng mga tatay, saan man kayo naroroon, Happy Father's Day. Hello, Tony Dwight. How Hi, are Doc. you? And, Hi, Doc Ali. And Happy Father's Day to you. And of course, it's always my pleasure to be with you, especially in this special episode of Father's Day, your day. 
Thank you. Thank you, Doc Alili. And of course, thank you for the greetings. And I join you in greeting all our fathers as well. This Sunday is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day sa ating lahat ng mga tatay. Yan, tama yan. Ngayon, um, Atone Dwight, uh, excited ka na pa at this coming Sunday, you're going to have a celebration, I am sure, with your family. Yes, alam mo ba, um, Atone Dwight, as a sociologist, I can say that one of the most significant and interesting topics of study and research in our discipline has always been the social institution of family and uh, its important roles and influences in our society and our culture. And gaya ng sabi mo kanina, no, nagbabago na talaga. At alam natin na modernization and technology in this VUCA world have really challenged and impacted on Filipino family culture, and most especially our members, no? the members of the family, tayo yon, no? the fathers and the mothers, and of course, the children. Kaya naman, sa episode natin ngayon, ang dami-dami natin matututunan, no? ang dami mga lessons na matututunan natin tungkol sa fathers and fatherhood from the lens of our children and from the fathers themselves. Yes, definitely, Doc Alili. And uh, when, when you say that, it's uh, actually uh, a treasure of uh, many inspiring stories coming both from the children and from the fathers. And of course, uh, since Father's Day is coming up, there will be a lot of surprises. Uh, there will be a lot of celebrations that will be going on. And so, excited na ako okay. ipakilala ang una nating guest, Dr. Alili. Sige, pakilala mo na, Tony <laughs> Dwight. Excited yep, and na para, para maumpisa ng ating kwentuhan tungkol sa mga ama, may kasama ama. tayo ngayon na isang uh, isang anak na binatilyo pa, Yan, batang bata. And he's the son of uh, engineer Ricardo Balog. He's the youngest child of Engineer Balog and a student of our UST Senior High School. So friends, let us welcome Rick Justin Balog. Hi. hi yeah, hi Justin. Hi po. Good afternoon. Ba- batang bata ka nga. No? <laughs> oo, oo, pero alam ko, marami kang ikikwento sa amin. No? Kaya, pag-usapan natin na no, tungkol sa Uh, yung father, no? kaya gusto ko malaman, ano bang ang tawag mo sa kanya? Kasi excited na kami no? na may mayroong kang sasabihin na siyempre tungkol sa kanya. Ano bang tawag mo sa kanya, Justin? Ang tawag ko po kay Papa, ay, ang tawag ko po sa kay Father is Papa. Oh, so Papa pala ang tawag ko. Oh. Ilang kayo magkakapatid, Justin? Uh, ako po ang bunso sa apat na magkakapatid. Oo. Ilan ang babae at ilan naman ang lalaki? Uh, may kapatid po akong dalawang babae at may isa rin po ang kapatid na lalaki. Ah, napakaganda. <laughs> that, that also means na sabay-sabay siguro kayo nag-aaral at uh, ginagabayan ng, ng inyong daddy. Ano? Hindi, ako po yung nahuli. <laughs> Masyado po malaki ang agwat po namin, magkakapatid. Oh, okay, nauna sila. Opo, oh, nauna po sila. Na, nauna sila. But, but as growing up, uh, ano naman yung ano, uh, yung uh, memories dito sa pagpapalaki sa inyo at pagpapaaral ng iyong uh, ano, Papa, Papa Rick, di ba? Opo, oh, opo. Oh, Papa Rick. Yes. Okay po. Sundo po kami, pinibigan po kami ng mga advice. Tinutulong po kami sa assignment. Pag may hindi po kami nag-gets, ganun po. Masipag po. Okay. Sige nga, idagdagan mo pa. Uh, uh, paano mo i-describe si Papa Rick? Ano yung mga qualities niya no, na gustong-gusto mo? No? Uh, siya ay very hardworking. Uh, 
kaya niya gawin halos lahat ng gawain bahay, electrician, carpentero, ganun. lahat na kailangan gawin sa bahay, siya lang gumagawa. Siya na rin nagluluto para sa amin. Oh. Parang, parang uh, Doc Alili, no? parang sinasabi ni Justin, wala na siyang kailangan gawin. <laughs> Jack of all trades at ang napaka-importante na gustong gusto ko ay yung masarap siyang magluto no? yun ang Opo. gusto ko kasi akala natin ang ano ang uh, gustong gusto ng mga papa natin no ang ang fathers natin ay yung uh, pagkain kasi yun ang importante sa kanila <laughs> no pero ito kabaliktaran si papa ang mas masarap magluto. Opo. No? Oo. Ngayon, um, aside dun sa lahat ng mukhang mukhang nag-freeze si Doc Alili, ano, uh, Justin. Opo. Ah, yeah. So anyway, I think ang kanyang uh, gusto yatang itanong is aside aside from those daily, no, daily na ginagawa ng daddy mo and uh, I'm sure uh, some of it Uh, ako naging uh, growing up boy din like you no uh, sometimes uh, maraming ginagawa ang ating ama na we, we really just take for granted no because it happens day in day out they do it every day uh, but i'm sure there can probably some good uh, some distinctive good memory na hindi mo makakalimutan talaga at lagi mo naiisip pag iyong naiisip ang iyong papa uh, pwede mo ba i-share ito Ang um, experience po na yun is yung nagta-travel po kami sa iba-ibang lugar. Tapos ako po yung lagi niyang bit-bit kasi maliit pa lang po ako nun. Lagi niya po ang buhat. So, ibig sabihin may advantage din talaga yung sinasabi mo na ano, no? Na nahuli ka. Opo. Because, uh, <laughs> ano, buhat-buhat ka talaga, literally. Uh, pag tayo oh. ay namamasyal. Opo, kasi... Parang 10 years pa agwat po namin ni Kuya. Ako po talaga yung baby baby po na. Baby baby pa. Yes. And uh, di- did you ever feel na favorite kanya or uh, or hindi? O wala naman po siyang favorite. Pantay-pantay po kami apa. Pantay-pantay naman. Yes. And uh, ladies first kayo kasi two, two two of your siblings yung dalawang babae mo na and then dalawa naman kayong lalaki magkasunod. Opo. Yeah, that's right. So yung yung uh, Uh, elder brother mo, anong year na? Or tapos na ba siya mag uh, Ano po, tapos na po siya. Graduate rin po siya ng engineering sa atin. Oh, yeah. And uh, I heard na uh, they graduated with uh, with honors, di ba? Uh, po, yung dalawa ko pong kapatid na babae. Graduated with Latin honors po. With Latin honors. So, ikaw naman, uh, pinapangarap mo rin ba? Sana yan? po, sana. sana. <laughs> anong ginagawa ng daddy mo uh, to make sure of that? Uh, siya ba, Inaasahan din yun sa'yo? Sana po. <laughs> Opo. <laughs> okay. Uh, anong qualities ng father mo naman ang uh, pinakagusto mo? No? Out, out of all, of course, marami kang sinabi kanina, magaling magluto, ginagabayan talaga kayo. But uh, if there's any distinctive quality, ano naman yung... Uh, yung uh, jack of all trades po. Kasi yun uh, niya po, nagkaya niya gawin niya po lahat ng kailangan namin sa bahay. Ayan. And... Uh, And, and and because of that uh, tulad na nabanggit ko kanina halos siguro wala ka nang gawin ano or or tinitrain ka naman niya para gawin din yung pagiging jack of all trades opo tumutulong rin po sa pagkarpentero ganun po natututo ka naman sa opo <laughs> <laughs> and di, did you ever ano did you ever uh, think na mahirap yung uh, pinagagawa niya sa iyo kung kanyang uh, pagiging jack of all trades at sinasabihan ka niya o tinuturoan ka rin niya? Uh, yung most po is mahirap po talaga kasi hindi ko po alam siya paano gawin. Pero nandiyan naman po siya para turuan ako. So, pag-travel niyo, do you go abroad or uh, mostly yes, sa provinces? Uh, balance naman po. Nag-abroad na rin po kami tapos minsan umuwi po kami sa mga hometown. Sa hometown niya po. Sa Batangas po. Ah, okay. And uh, you, you enjoy every bit of it, I guess. Yes po. Okay, so, uh, okay, other than those qualities, an- ano yung uh, isang naituro niya sa'yo na lagi mo rin uh, nasa isip kung meron? Uh, kapag may gusto daw po kami, paghirapan po namin, yun po yung turo niya po talaga sa amin. 
Ayan. At ito, sinasabuhay mo naman talaga. Opo. Kaya seri-sarili po kaming sikap. Yes. And, and I'm sure nakikita mo to sa kanya. Sabi mo nga kanina, it's really very hardworking, right? Opo. Pati po yung mga kapatid ko po. Yeah. And uh, okay. So I guess uh, we'll call in your father now. Uh, let us call in Justin's father, Engineer Rick Balog. Engineer Rick was a former assistant dean of the UST Faculty of Engineering. Uh, sigurado, maraming Tomasian engineers ang nakakakilala sa kanya because through the years, no, 17 years of that, wow, uh, napakatagal ng kanyang pagsiservisyo uh, sa UST bilang uh, assistant dean ng UST Faculty of Engineering. Uh, Engineer Rick, welcome to the show. Hello. Uh, magandang hapon sa lahat. Uh, magandang gabi sa, nasa ibang panig ng mundo. And uh, uh, it's nice to be here. Yes, and uh, we're glad you could join us as well. And uh, of course, you could join your son. Uh, nagpapasalamat kami at uh, pinahintulutan ninyo. Alam nyo, inumpisan, na, inumpisan namin ni Doc Alindi kanina yung interview sa kanya and I think uh, narinig nyo no? sa- some parts of it, uh, especially talking about you and uh, your role as a father. Uh, anong reaction mo dyan, Engineer Rick? Um, although, <laughs> medyo kulang pa sa pukpuk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and 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 so, actually, konting konting chaga pa para maabot niya yung dapat niyang marating, uh, lalo na yung ano para bang sumunod sa tapak ng kanyang mga ate na kahit pa pa ano eh ano graduate ng college with uh, Latin honors. Yes, and uh, definitely sinabi naman ni Rick kanina. Ah, ni Jit Justin. Rick Justin, ang sinabi naman niya, you know, if, if there's something you really want, uh, you should really work hard for it. And, uh, and tama yun, Rick, no? Uh, I think, basically, pinupush ka ng dad mo really to, to go for it. Opo. <laughs> Ayan. At uh, kanina, nabanggit din ni Rick na talagang kayo ay jack of all trades. <laughs> Ito ba, nakikita niyo rin po kay Rick? Uh, will, will this uh, happen also to Rick? Parang... Uh, magiging jack of all trades din siya sa bahay. Sana uh, mamana niya <laughs> kahit konti doon sa mga kalamang ko na actually sa mahabang panahon na ano na inilagi ko sa school at uh, nung bata pa rin ako kasakasama ako ng father ko sa as, sa pagkakarpintero kasi yung tatay ko pala ay isang carpenter sa amin sa lugar sa Tigloy, Patangas. And then yun lang ang, ang kinabubuhay na ng pamilya namin noon. Kaya yes. nga, ano, uh, dahil sa kagustuhan kung ano, yung para bang kung magkapamilya ko ay maiba ang buhay na maibigay ko, kakaiba doon sa buhay na kinalakyan ko. Nung nasa probinsya ay talagang nagsikap ako uh, Lumuwas ng Manila, salamat na lang at uh, may natirahan ako rito, naghanap ng trabaho and uh, since then, uh, sinuwerte naman na pasok sa trabaho and at the same time, pumasok sa USD uh, para sa kursong engineering. Bali, working yeah. student ako since then. Yes, and uh, definitely nakita naman po ni Justin sa inyo. Uh, I think one of the traits he really admires is uh, yung pinaka uh, hardworking po raw ninyo uh, all throughout yun ang kanyang observation. No? And, uh, si, pero si Justin po ba? Do you see him also na susunod sa yapak ninyo as an engineer? Uh, how I wish. <laughs> <laughs> anong anong Then, masasabi mo doon na uh, Justin? Uh, ang first risk ko po talaga is dapat engineering. Eh sabi po ni Kuya, mas madali daw po mag-comsay. <laughs> Ayun. Anyway, alam nyo, uh, medyo malakas ang ulan sa labas and uh, si Doc Alili had some uh, uh, problems sa kanyang connectivity. But uh, don't worry because uh, here to rescue us is uh, Doc Evelyn Songko. Welcome to the show. Hello. 
<laughs> Alam mo naman ako, ready ko lagi mag-substitute, no? Hello, Rick! How Hello, are ma'am. you? Long time no see. Okay. Nako, nakakatuwa ka, Rick, ha? Talaga naman. Alam mo, ha? For a long time. Nakikita ko si Rick. Nako, hila-hila niya ang kanyang mga anak sa, sa school. Yan talaga, model father. Yan. Palagi kong sinasabi yan, ha? Tama ba ako, Justin? Opo, tamang-tama po. <laughs> At ikaw yata ang pinakahuling hini, hiniyayak. In, ano ang tawag niyan? Yung uh, inaalalaya ng iyong father. Opo diba? yung nahuli eh. Ako oh, po yung nahuli. Ako po yung nahuli. Nakikita ko kayo kasi nakikita ko yung mga bags ninyo, daladala ng tatay nyo, lababa siya sa sasakyan, pagkatapos bubuksan ang trunk, naku, marami na siyang binibit-bit. At maagang-maaga kayong naroon. Tama ba? At uh, Engineer Rick? Uh, yes po. Actually, sabay kami palagi ng mga anak pumasok. So, okay, maalis right. kami ng Novaliches as early as five. Oh and then... Sa Novaliches pala kayo nang... And then sabay-sabay din kami gumuwi sa isang sasakyan sa yeah. gabi. Dumarating kami ng mga six or seven. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. so, Talagang That devoted. That is so loving. <laughs> Oo. Attorney Dwight talaga. Ganyan yes. sila. Parang, ano ba? Parang mga kuyog na mga pamilya. Piling <laughs> 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 ko yes. lagi sila nag embrace Ano ba yan? Totoo yeah. yan, ha? Pero, teka muna. Meron bang sasabi? May mensahe ba si Rick sa kanyang uh, father? Ano masasabi mo? Ayan, ha? Huwag ka si Justin. Rick, Justin. Hindi yes. nga, Justin. Uh, Justin. Napaka-hardworking niyang ama. Yun, oh. yun talaga yung pinang ina-admire ko about sa kanya. And oh. salamat sa lahat ng mga binigay niya dahil naghirap nga siya para mabigyan kami ng maayos na buhay. Uh, so, salamat sa mga turo, sa mga lessons na tayo mong binibigay sa amin para maging maayos kami lumaki. Yun, salamat sa lahat. Yeah. Wow naman. Ano yung pinaka naaalala mong, yung pinaka naaalala mong experience na tumatak talaga sa'yo? na ginawa ninyo ng family ninyo within? Uh, yung one time, umuwi nga kami sa Tingloy, Batangas. Eh, need mag-boat ride from mainland to the island. And ang kasangkas na ako sa shoulders ni Papa nun kasi takot ako mahulog sa tubig nun sa bangka. Ah. 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 So, palagi ka sigurong nasa shoulders ng tatay mo, no? Opo. Oh, palagi kang akay-akay, no? Oh, wow. yes. At uh, Miss Adeline, yes. yun nga yung sinasabi ni Justin kanina, yun ang advantage niya na naging bunso. Uh, <laughs> dahil siya, siya talaga yung super, kung akay-akay silang lahat, siya yung super akay talaga ni Papa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At, Pero, at kita mo naman. Pero ito ako, Attorney Dwight kay uh, Engineer Rick. Rick? Yes po. Pagka pa yung, anong feeling mo pagka yung araw-araw talaga stress ka, no? dala mo yung mga anak mo. Nung una, yung tatlo, sunod-sunod dyan. Ano yung nararamdaman mo every day na ginagawa mo yan? Okay lang naman. Wala naman stress, walang ano, dahil una-una, sanay naman tayo sa ganong uh, uh, kondisyon na mag, ano, mag uh, lalo na nga nasa probinsa kami na magkarga ng ganito, ng ganyan. And yeah. then, Uh, Siyempre, para sa mga anak yon kaya talagang lahat ay gagawin, wala namang, at uh, hindi naman uh, bilang tatay, hindi naman pabigat talaga yon dahil talagang tungkulin naman natin talaga ang mga tatay yun, ano na gawin yon para sa mga anak. Yes. Wow, wholehearted uh, yan na. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Like, like most fathers... Video yata. Meron mo yes, bang video? Yes, I think. Uh, can we wow. show that? Uh, ano yun? Surprise? Attorney Yes. Dwight. Yes. <laughs> surprise! So let's show the video. Oh, ayan na surprise ka. Uh, Sige. Uh, and uh, like as most fathers would say, talagang natural lang just being a father. Ito. So happy Father's Day. Ayan. Engineer. These uh, are your children? Yes po. Ayan. Si ano yan, no? Justin, ikaw ba yon, baby? Opo. Ako po yan. Yes. Oh. Ayan yung dalawang nahuli na. 
Uh, oh. Two boys. Two boys. Si Justin pa rin ito. Ko po. Justin nung dininyagan sa USD. Batang-bata pa si Papa. Mm. Napakaganda naman pala ni Mrs. O di ba? <laughs> yeah, and one of the many travels na uh, kinikwento ni Justin kanina, mahilig sila talaga lumakad at uh, yan, kitang-kita naman. Bit-bit na bit-bit talaga si Justin. Mm. Opo. <laughs> Ako palagay ko si Justin o oh, lagi nakakapit sa kanyang tatay. <laughs> Tama ba? Lagi nakakapit yan kay Papa. Mm. Okay, wow. And Ayan they are married mayroon. already, huh? Yeah, yeah, po. Ah, the two yeah. girls. The two girls. And you already have a boss now. Oh, yeah. uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I have three ano? doon sa nursing ko sa nasa New South Wales. Uh-huh. And then, yung isa, isa dito sa panganay ko, yung nasa Kuala Lumpur ngayon. Yeah. And natutuwa ako ha, nababalitaan ko palagi doon na, ano na, pagka nag-graduate yung anak ng mga honor students yan. Uh, attorney yes. Dwight? Yes, and so siguro, Justin, may message ka ba sa papa mo for Father's Day? Ah... Uh... I was uh, I would like just like to thank thank you for everything all the hard works na ginawa mo for us sa mga kapatid ko para mabigyan kami ng maayos na buhay. And uh, kung magbibigay ka ng gift sa papa mo for Father's Day what would that be? Uh my grades because I'm really proud of my grades ngayon mataas. Wow. And oh. it would show na naghihirap rin ako para yeah to achieve my goals rin. Wow. Para ang mga anak mo kasi bait mo. Wow. Well, congratulations, ha? Justin, for having very good grades. Thank you, po. And I know you're very proud of your father as well. Eh, proud din naman siya sa'yo. And engineering, what makes you love and enjoy being a father naman to your children? Actually, yung makita mo na yung mga anak mo habang lumalaki ay talagang Uh, magkakasundo, uh, malalim ang banding, nagtutulungan. And then, kahit na gaano kasimple yung bagay na mga ma-provide nila mo sa kanila ay ma-appreciate nila. And then, yun nga, uh, dahil at naintindihan nila kung ano yung lagay namin sa buhay na ika nga, hindi naman tayo <laughs> Uh, nanggaling sa isang nakakakariwasang pamilya so yung yung ganun ba na ano na yung kung ano lang yung talagang kaya eh no wala silang kwan kundi talaga na appreciate nila exactly what uh, just and said. then yun nga yung yung nakikita ng isang magulang na ano yung kanilang mga anak naman ay talagang nagsusumika para Uh, lahat ay ano, mapabuti ang kinabukasan ng bawat isa. Ayo. Sa yun yung mga that. ika nga yung sinasabi natin nakakataba ng puso bilang isang magulang o isang tatay. Tama. At uh, yan yung sinasabi ni Justin kanina. Uh, those things he is most thankful for. So, narinig mo na mismo Justin. Okay. What's your message naman, Justin, to all other sons like you listening to their fathers? Uh, uh, feeling ko, message ko lang is lagi nila sundin and respetuhin nila. And alagaan na rin nila kasi alam na natin tumatanda na sila. Na yun po. Oh, wow. Ang sweet, di ba? Short. Alam mo to si ano ha? Si Justin ha? Talagang lagi siyang short and sweet. Parang si ano yan? Engineering. Kaya nga sabi ko parang ano ito eh. Uh, talagang siya ay duplicate ng tatay niya. <laughs> duplicate ng papa. Oh yes. The mini Rick Balog. Kaya siguro nilagyan yung pangalan niya Rick Justin. O oh, ba? Diba? Wow. So at least teenager na yung iyong youngest. No? Sumasama ka pa kay papa ma? Opo. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Yan. Ako naman. Yan ang Madalas mga... Madalas nga ako naiayaya ngayon yung manood na ako. Ng ano? 
Netflix. Mga games ng USD. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry ha, kanina hindi ko na-catch. Ano nga yung iyong uh, kurso ngayon? Ah, uh, senior high pa lang Senior po high po school. Ngayon. At ano yung kukunin mo? Comsai po. Comsai? Opo. Com- Polisai? Ah, uh, computer, computer science. Oh, ah, Comsai, computer science. Ayaw nyo talaga umalis sa building na yon ano? <laughs> <laughs> But definitely. Uh, yes. Okay, engineering, right. what's, what's your message naman pa to, to Justin? So, unang-una, uh, dawat siguro panahon na para mag, uh, magbawas ng timbang. <laughs> Kasi uh, at pagbutihin pa yung pag-aaral and then talagang ngayon pa lang ay magkaroon na ng talagang ano ba talaga ang gusto niya uh, marating uh, sa kanyang bukas. Uh, you have to understand ano, your future lies in your is in your hands ika na yeah. <laughs> so thank you ang future mo ay nakas, nasa sa lalay sa iyong pagsusumikap kaya yun lang yes and i think uh, tandang tanda naman ni Justin yung lesson na sinabi niyo sa kanya if he wants something he must go for it and work hard work hard on it so thank you very much uh, engineer Rick and of course Justin uh, friends thank you To all our viewers, we'll be taking a short break before we continue with the show. Uh, do stay on with us. Uh, next, we will be having two daughters to share about their father. So we're back and uh, ipagpatuloy natin ang ating kwentuhan. Uh, Doc Evelyn? Yes. And uh, Yan, we're back. Oo. At, uh, Attorney Dwight, we're back. E eh, kahit na malakas ang ulan, no? Kaya nga si Dr. Aleli, no? Brown out sa kanila ngayon. Hindi siya makakabalik. Yes. And meron tayong uh, dalawang guest. Alam ko, introduce mo na yung dalawa nating mga magagandang uh, big, ano dalaga pa di ba mga magagandang dalaga at mga medical students okay yes, uh, let us uh, right? let us continue with our two lady guests our lady guests are the only children and two daughters of Dr. George Ko a well known and loved uh, ophthalmologist at the UST Hospital and a faculty member of the UST Faculty of Medicine and Surgery we have Valerie the elder of the two who is completing her medical training in Melbourne, Australia, specializing in geriatric medicine. And Jonina, or Nina, who has just received very recently her license as a registered physical therapist and is presently a medical student at the UST Faculty of Medicine and Surgery. Friends, let us welcome Dr. Valerie and Nina Po. Welcome to Bridges. Hello, well- Po. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the show. Napakagaganda ng mga anak ni Dr. Ko, ha? ni George. Okay. Yes. So, pwede na niyang nilang batiin ang ating mga viewers, no? Si Valerie first. Good evening po. Thank you for having us. It's a privilege to be here with our dad. Yeah. And uh, Nina? Nina, yes. 
Hello, po. good evening and good afternoon and good morning. Um, <laughs> thank you for having us today and um, we hope you enjoy our conversation tonight. Yeah, oh, talaga. Kwentuhan itong, kwentuhan itong mula sa puso. Ha? Definitely. Yeah. And uh, si, si Val is uh, in Melbourne and of course si Nina is uh, here with us in Manila. And uh, this is a show for fathers because uh, Father's Day is coming up. How do you call your father, uh, Val and Nina? Um, dad or daddy po ang tawag namin. Same po. Oh. Daddy for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi nagbabago yun. Laging daddy lang. No? Dad! Dad! Tingi naman! <laughs> oh, good mood or bad mood po. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Ano na, mas marami? Yung good mood o yung bad mood? Ah, Siyempre, good mood. Oh, good mood. Ah, <laughs> may increase ka ng allowance. <laughs> ano ang siyempre, no, uh, tinatanong natin palagi, paano ba yung uh, samahan ninyo ng daddy nyo? Sino gusto mag- sumagot? Si ate muna, no? Oh, Ay, by the way, pa. what is the age difference between the two of you? Six years, six years po. po. Wow, really? Mm-hmm. Six years? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, ikaw muna ate. <laughs> okay. Kasi nandito po ako sa Australia. Medyo iba kami ng relationship ni dad um, compared kay nasa bunso. Um, kami ni dad, parang um, we try to stay in touch a lot and we're, we're in, um, talking on the phone almost every night. Kaya parang we grew closer na din as I got older, which is good. Hmm. Rob, Nina, before you answer, tatanong ko lang kay Val. Yung influence naman uh, in taking up medicine, malaki ba yung influence niya sa'yo dyan? Um, hindi naman niya kaming pinilit or in-encourage na maging doctor um, specifically. Pero pinanood namin yung career niya, tsaka yung example po niya, tsaka um, parang nakita namin kung gano'n siya ka-passionate, tsaka da- gano'n niya na-enjoy yung work. Kaya siguro parang na-entice na rin kami na mag-medicine. Hmm. Oh yeah, that is so great. How about you, Nina? Great influence talaga. Um, for me naman po, in terms of yung samahan po namin, um, that, that, me that I'm closer to my dad than my sister, um, for me naman po, uh, maraming biroan, maraming lokohan. Like, I always tease him a lot and our relatives know me for that. Um, and then, parang naging mas best friend ko si dad. Um, in terms of, alam niya lahat ng kalokohan ko siguro sa life. Parang ganun. Kasi, mabait po kasi si dad. So, he mostly laughs about everything and um he has a lot of experience in being in the same med school and um pre-med in usd so it's it's a nice bond between us and now na pandemic he stays home a lot so i get to talk to him a lot as well you know? your yeah, influence ng ano pagiging pt and uh, medical student <laughs> yung pagiging pt po siya po yung pumili na <laughs> <laughs> Ni <laughs> naman po ang umayaw kasi I trust his decision even uh-huh. if I had a little argument with my mom kasi she was against it a little at the start <laughs> but my dad is very passionate and mukha naman po he won <laughs> um, I listened to him and now um, I just trusted his opinion and what he thought about what's best for me and now I'm here being um, a Thomasian for seven years and taking med um, in the same school where he graduated. Yeah. And uh, Doc Evelyn, tayo witness din sa kabaitan ni Doc George na oh, we know him na, na talagang oh, uh, one of so the most uh, yeah, napakabait oh, naman ha? talaga. Niya. Yeah. Alam mo ha, actually, yung sinasabi ni Nina ngayon is just a validation. no? Kasi yung nakikita natin, syempre, outside of the family. Syempre, baka mabait si, Doc, si Dr. George doon kasi tayo yun. Pero... <laughs> Inside the family, yun yung real George ko. Diba? Hindi siya That's dyan true. doctor, hindi siya dyan friend, hindi siya... Kasi si, si, Ather, si Dr. George naging president ng uh, Medical Alumni Association. So, yes. nakasama namin siya. And we Correct. find him amazing. Totoo yan. And yes. now that you are telling us about him, eh talagang naniniwala kami. Diba? Yes. O, yes. Diba? Yes. Tama? 
Attorney diba? and, Dwight. And, may influence yes. siya. May influence Correct. si Dr. George sa kanilang Correct. dalawa. Sige, ikaw magtanong sa yes. kanina. Kasi and, 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 and so talking about that, yung qualities naman niya as a father. Uh, Val, ano yung pinakagusto mong quality niya or qualities niya as a dad to you? <laughs> um, marami naman siyang positive qualities lalo na sa mga um, professional qualities niya na naging example sa amin pero sa tingin ko pinaka parang endearing to us yung kanyang sense of humor po kasi tinuruan niya kami na kahit na mahirap pang buhay minsan ganun um, not to take things too seriously and to be patient so yun ang pinaka gusto ko sa kanya yes, wow. and, uh, how about you Nina? Okay, For me, I would 100% agree with my sister. <laughs> so, <laughs> our dad is the joker of the family. And I think we grew up trying to follow his footsteps of being a comedian. But um, other than that, um, in the more serious aspect, um, for me, his qualities talaga is his um, being kind and selfless to other people. Like, kahit ang dami niyang ginagawa, ang dami niyang problema, pero tinutulungan niya lahat ng tao. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yun. Okay. Mm-hmm. Kaya very close talaga sila kay uh, Dr. George, no? Eh, so, yun yung influence ni Dr. George sa kanila. Ano yung uh, uh, ev- uh, event or experience in your family that really you will not forget about your father? Ano yung, halimbawa, ano yung pinaka-importanting lesson na sinasabi niya sa inyo paulit-ulit? At saka yung ano yung gusto ninyong gawin together in the family? Oh, muna siguro. Um, kanina, habang, habang nagpre-prepare po kami para sa interview, pinag-uusapan po namin ni Nina kung ano ba yun. Um, I think sa amin kasi ang um, pinaka- Um, quality time namin with dad is the everyday. So wala talagang parang single moment. Pero marami siyang mga sinasabi na advice or parati niya kami sinasabihan na maglinis ng kwarto or ayusin mm-hmm. yung ano, homework namin or something like that. So yun ang, I think, yun yung talagang nagsistick sa amin na talagang kahit na busy-busy siya, um, he's still looking out for us and um, marami siyang mga catchphrase na mga advice. So I think yun ang talagang pinaka-precious for me. Ano pinaka-favorite niya na ano sabihin? Nakukukunin <laughs> yung i-code. Yung favorite niya sabihin na palagi yun. Pag sinab, pag, pag nagsalita siya, may kasama nun. Ano yun? <laughs> Kasi po, um, Uh, siya din po nagturo sa amin mag-drive. Kaya yung pinaka namin po, yung defensive driving po. <laughs> um, talagang um, he's defensive really watching driving. out for us. <laughs> um, yeah, his two daughters. Yeah. So, um, yun ang kanyang catchphrase. <laughs> do you agree, okay. Nina? Maybe Nina agree? naman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe Nina naman. The younger uh, oh. Lady, yes. Um, I like super agree with my sister. Our dad is very meticulous in a lot of things. Um, siguro a memory that I would love. Um, maybe is siguro during this pandemic, because he's been home that like for like two three years. Um, and sobrang naging mas close ako kay dad. I got to know him better. Um, because prior to this, he was very busy with a lot of orgs. So, um. I couldn't really really get to know him because he's very his mind is in other places but now na he's been home I got to know him more and lagi niya kasi pinapanood niya po kasi ako mag-med school kasi I've been online for for two years so lagi niya siyang sasabihin uy pahinga ka naman masyado naman yan he always reminds me to rest yan po that's the girl oh. one thing that I wouldn't do unless he told me to wow no one yeah. So sweet, very obedient to, no? Diba? Pahinga po. <laughs> Lalo na pag-rest. <laughs> Dr. George, very obedient ang mga anak mo. Pero yung yes. sabi ni Dr. George na mag-rest ka naman, ginagawa ba niya yun? Nag-rest din ba siya dati? O busy rin siya? Wow! Mm-hmm. Follow it siya. Tama ba, Dr. Dwight? Yeah, Follow and I'm the- sure there are many moments shared with the... Uh, with, uh, Uh, Doc George. Pero yung pinaka-loving moments uh, ninyo with him, uh, is it something you can share? Yung loving moment talaga na you distinctly remember, uh, Val? Mm, um, I think 
ang pinaka na remember ko ngayon yung um, nagkaroon ng health problem si dad so parang everyone in our family really had to stick together um, I think the way he pulled us all together kahit na nahirapan siya nun, um, was remarkable for me um, and I think it brought us all closer yeah I'm talking about it uh, it was really a big challenge to you and the family right Opo. how about you Nina? Loving um, moment. <laughs> the girl mine would be connected to what my sister just said. Um, it was a crazy time and we all didn't know what to do. And I'm sure sa kung sa amin nahirapan kami, mas nahirapan din si dad. Pero never naman yun naramdaman with him. So that was very, it's not direct, but you can feel indirectly that it's his sign and how he would show love to all of us. Oh, yeah. That is so sweet, no? Attorney Dwight. So it's really, even if there are challenges, the father, si daddy, pinapakita pa rin sa kanila yung pagmamahal. And that pulls them together even more. Diba? Yes. I strengthen the family, no? Yes. yes. And I think that that's how you were able to cope, right? A very important uh, aspect of coping. It's a po. problem. Yeah. Mm-mm. And, uh, Paano naman, how did you show naman your love? Kasi kanina sabi niyo, your dad would always show attention, love to you. Kayo namang dalawa, how do you show it to him? How do you show love to your dad? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, si Nina naman ngayon ang mauuna. O oh, sige, para naman ikaw naman ang mag agree Sige. <laughs> Tama. <laughs> um, for me po, Siguro if I were to connect it na lang din to the, that moment, the way I showed my love is how he would show it to us. So he would make us laugh. So um, long time na yun, ako naman po yung nagpatawa. <laughs> kahit, kahit may hirap. Like I was the one who uh, ano, would make the jokes. Um, following his footsteps of being a comedian nga. So I, I would make sure na um, at least matawa siya at least once a day. Ganun. That's how I would show my love. Kasi... Well, there was really nothing more we could like give as much as we wanted to. But um, seeing him smile was the way I thought I could um, make him feel that I loved him. Wow. That's... Was it difficult to get that reaction from him? Of um, It was a difficult time. <laughs> so um, um, trying to force a laugh or force... Even if he would try naman din po to be like act normal and act happy with us, syempre you know naman din po na it wasn't easy. So it was quite hard then to actually get a genuine um, joy out of him at that time po. But wow. you persisted eh? <laughs> yeah. love, that's love. That's love. That's true. Yeah. O si ate, si ate Valerie naman. Same din po sa akin na parang in those challenging times, um, swerte po kami ni Nina na we have our mom and dad who showed us how to love. Um, so for me, I um, took some time out of work, ganun, spending time more with family, tsaka most importantly yung tinuro po sa akin ni dad na maging um, pasyenso sa. Um, and <laughs> yeah, just, you know, take it easy and um, take it one day at a time po. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That is so nice. Talaga, one day at a time. And of course, one day at a time together with the Lord, no? Diba? And uh, I'm sure kasama dyan ng prayer, no? Tama, tama. Okay. Yes. Yeah, attorney and, uh, Dwight. Yes. Yeah, and, and I'm sure important lessons uh, along the way uh, were also learned. Uh, were there important lessons as well, uh, Nina? that you learned? Yes, but definitely. Um, each day was a learning um, chance for all of us because um, going through difficult times wasn't something we were used to because at that time, we used to just take life easy. But then when things got hard, you know, po, all the learnings came na hindi naman namin inexpect. We learned to be closer. We learned to value each other more. We learned the value of family, which that eh, busy-busy kami with everything we did in life. But then, dun, man, dun, dun na po namin na-realize, like, um, everything external won't be there when times get rough. You only have your family po. So, yun po. It's uh, re- really very important. It's inspiring. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Thank you for sharing. 
na dokpal. Uh, what's the most important lesson probably you've learned from the experience and from the challenge? Um, I think we also learned to communicate better with each other as a family. At saka po, to communicate um, to our Lord po. Tsaka, naging parang mas madasalan po kami. Um, and I think that was a, um, a great learning for us. Um, yeah. Uh, tama yan. So sabi, sabi nga ni Ma'am Evelyn din kanina, really prayers uh, kasama kasama sa journey na yan. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and so... Mina, if there's any message you would like to share uh, sa mga nanonood na daughters and sons uh, when it comes to uh, a challenge uh, coming into the family, anong pwede mo mag message sa kanila? Oh, okay. So if it's a message for them, I would say, um, yes, it's not easy. That's one. Taking charge or like taking a different role Opposite to how we grew up, it's diff- it's difficult. But uh, you have to trust in what you were taught, like how you were brought up, and to never lose hope, never lose faith. And you're not alone. So that's the best part. A family is not um, is made of a lot of people, um, and you have a lot of people you can rely on. And so for our dad in particular. Um, and our parents na din, um, take care of them kasi we won't be here if hindi dahil sa kanila. And um, mm. yeah, just give back pag kaya, pag tanda, mag-give back lang kasi that's the best thing we can do. Yeah. And I like what you said. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, you uh, you try to dig down deep and uh, your answer probably is there because uh, the way you were brought up, uh, probably you were really you're prepared for something like this. You you can handle it, di yeah. ba? Yes, but okay. yeah. <laughs> that's right. How about you, Nokbal? Any message um, uh, for those who are facing the same challenge or uh, who will be facing it? Children like you. Oh, I think um, the the main learning and message I got was just to show up every day and not to take it for granted. Kahit po mga occasions like this, like Father's Day, um, it's a really nice chance to catch up as a family. Um, yeah, so just savor it and enjoy and don't take it for granted. Wow. Beautiful. No? Beautiful words from the children. Napakaganda ng mga sinabi ninyo. And I'm pretty sure it's because of your family. You know? So beautiful, right. attorney wife. Yeah, go yes. ahead, attorney yeah. wife. And uh, well, I, I guess uh, it's it's about time to call the father of Valerie and Nina. Papakilala ko rin po siya. Siya si Dr. George Ko. Of course, isang napakabait. Tulad na sinabi namin ni Mama Evelyn kanina at magaling na doktor. Uh, at maraming tagahanga especially sa alumni association uh, sa me- me- medicine alumni uh, who's been uh, serving with us as well so friends let us welcome uh, Dr. George Ko simply known as Dr. George hi doc hi hello hello hello, jo- yeah. hello Evelyn hello welcome naiyak ako eh paano napaiyak ako sa sinabi okay <laughs> So that's how we Hanggang are. Hanggang ngayon nagpapatawa ang daddy wow. niyo, ha? <laughs> we, we take things lightly. Yan, yan ang mga isa. But uh, just like to greet everybody. A good day, yes. morning, evening, afternoon to all the alumni, to all the friends who are tuned in and congratulations for Bridges. Kasi parang feeling ko bridging, bridging, yeah. bridge ng mga alumni, mga iba-ibang uh, sa mga uh, society uh, the tao doon, uh, to, to have this uh, meaningful episodes such as this. Napakaganda. So congratulations and uh, thank you for having us. Happy Father's Day to all. Yes. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> George, thank you for making yourself and for really inviting, uh, making, allowing your children to be here. Uh-huh. Pero talagang tuwang-tuwa kami that you are with us today. We miss you a lot, huh? Very much. So now, Dr. George, that uh, you, well, I'm sure you listen to your children and I'm sure you're, you're very happy with what you heard. Uh, on your part, what do you remember was the most endearing uh, moment as a father uh, to them? So, alam mo naman, Evelyn, attorney, 
medyo na busy ako sa well years past no even after med pa lang I'm very busy with the orgs I like doing things organizing so medyo nakalikta ang ko na samahan sila but uh, since Valerie is studying uh, in uh, Melbourne so at that time ito yung most enduring moment the first time na nagka bo- boyfriend siya alam mo na din you know the first time na nagka boyfriend so she was uh, in college na rin doon first year or second year you know what i did the minute i found out that day na sabi ko dad may boyfriend na ako okay lang so that that same day or the following day pumunta ako sa Melbourne stayed oh. overnight para makilala lang yung boyfriend niya tapos balik ako the following day uh, oh. ganun lang pumunta ako ng morning to meet the boyfriend nag dinner kami ng gabi tapos the following day morning balik uli ako ng Manila so ganun wow. ganun kay, kay, kay Valerie so <laughs> natuwa na, nagulat lahat ng mga kapatid ko at like ano pumunta ka grabe eh, ano ka eh, medyo ano Kabado ka. Siyempre, sabi ko, first time, nagka-boyfriend eh. Siyempre, ay, ay, masaktan yung bata. And those things. So, I went there one day lang. Overnight. Overnight lang. Para makilala ng boyfriend niya. Wow, eh, Kumasa naman. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, Takot sa boyfriend. Yung testing yun, Valerie. Uh, uh, nagulat din siya eh. Kasi, mas, mas uh, kailangan niya ako alagaan. Kasi, pag uwi naman, the following day, early morning flight. Sabi ko, Val, ako hindi ako magising eh. Okay. Problema pa niya, gisingin ako ng umaga para umabot ako sa airport para makauwi ako. So, <laughs> naging siya pa nag-alaga sa akin habang nandun. So, that was, that was a fun. <laughs> yeah, that was one of those uh, instances na ay, siguro na napatunayan ko. Napaka, well, na, in spite of everything, pagdating nandun sa pangangailangan ng anak mo, ayan, you will always be there. Kahit po, if yeah. lang, I mean that. If I trust uh-huh. her, of course. I know her her choice i know i know what kind of person she is so i know i know it wasn't uh over na yun over na yun, but i just wanted to be there for her kasi para yeah. man, uh life moment milestone etc yeah ako si nina si nina naman ang most endearing uh moment naman namin was uh well actually marami kasi palagi ko siyang kasama sa bahay <laughs> So, from the start na pinapiti ko siya, sabi ko piti. Pati mga kaibigan niya, pinapiti ko na rin. Mga kaibigan ko, ang dami nagpiti that year. Kasi kinausap. Tapos kailangan nila, bakit nagpiti anak mo? At sa ganun. Kailangan nila lahat ng senaryo. Aba, ang dami sumama. So, three, four, or five of my friends, their children, pinapiti na rin nila as a premium. So, si Nina, sabi ko, dad, parang ayoko five years. Hindi, kaya niya. Tapos si Nina, So parang si Nina naman, hindi naman siya, she, she has a mind of her own. Napaka, ano rin niya, pwede nga yan, lawyer. At already, pwede nga yan, college of law. Dahil magaling niya mag, ano, magaling siya mag So, and uh-huh. then of course, nung time na nagkasakit ako, siya yung palaging kasama ko dito. Aside from si Valerie, who flew back here to be with me, siyempre, limited lang yung time, pero si Nina, halos every day kasama sa bahay ng online classes hindi ko lang ako so palagi siya nandiyan so always uh, been so memorable to me kasi touching eh na dapat ako yung nag-aalaga sa kanila ngayon sige nag-aalaga sa so, yeah. pero I think no uh, hindi mo sila ina- sinabi mo sila nag-aalaga ngayon sa'yo pero uh, it's really mutual you know yung nakita nila sa'yo yun actually yung nire-reflect back nila sa iyo. I, I I believe no that they are really mirroring you, too, no? You believe yeah. that attorney yeah, wife? Think... Yeah, yung mga anak mo, sila yung mirror mo. Tama ba attorney wife? Yeah, Tama and uh, na, na, nabanggit nga ni Doc Val kanina, Chani Nina na there, there it's really just a reflection of how they were brought up. Uh, by by Dr. George no and uh, meron akong first time na rin dito i've heard about helicopter p- parenting no pero ito yata si Dr. George eh, jet jet plane eh. <laughs> jet <laughs> yeah. parenting yeah yeah jet jet parenting no for for you to fly to melbourne but uh, of course not that you don't trust her but but of course you want to show your support 
And uh, siguro pinakita mo rin na kahit pa paano excited ka rin. <laughs> diba? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's so true. Yeah, you very... know, fathers, yeah, I think not, even the mothers, they always would like to be, uh, to know the boyfriend. Si, ano, si uh, Nina naman kasi lagi mong kasama eh. No? But it's a good thing, meron ka kagad passport. Ha? Ah, eh, passport. Meron ka kagad visa. Oh, ready na, ready to go. Kaya talagang uh, surprise. Was that surprise to Valerie? Nagsa- nagpasabi naman po before ah, siya nag-fly. Oo, buti na lang. <laughs> Pero ganun talaga si Dad. As in, um, kahit na busy-busy, ready talaga siya for you. So, pati visa na din po, ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is so true. That is so true. Yes. And I think, baka meron silang sasabihan sa daddy nila. Tama ba, Attorney Dwight? Yeah, probably since oh, it's Father's Day on Sunday. Uh, Valerie, meron ka bang message sa yung daddy? Happy Father's Day, Dad. And we want to thank you for everything that you do for us, even the things that we may not even realize. Um, thank you for teaching us the way um, about being a doctor, but also going through life. And I'm so looking forward to more memories and adventures with you. Oh, so yes. nice. Yes. Nina? Um, happy Father's Day, Dad. Um, uh, I guess, nasabi ko rin naman before, pero we always, always tell you that we love you. And um, we're so grateful for everything you do and everything <coughs> you taught us all these years. Um, we hope to make you proud every day. And um, yeah, we're always going to be here for you kahit ano mangyari. Yeah. No. Wow. <laughs> She's so nice. Yeah. Yes. It Alam mo, George, it touches my heart. Yeah. Eh. Does it touch your heart, Attorney yeah. Dwight? De- definitely. And uh, I'm sure may response dyan si, si Doc George. Uh, yeah. Pero tingnan muna natin itong oh. video. Meron din silang okay. video. Eh. Ah, talaga? So, yeah, so, ito. Happy Father's Day. Let's, let's uh, take a look at it and... Uh, O oh, ito, Doc George, can you describe a little bit? No? Mga baby pa ito. Ito yung birthday ni Nina sa pool party sa may lola niya. So ito, nasa ano kami, coffee shop kasi wala si Valerie. So we take time out. I think ito nasa ano, subic. So, ito si Valerie, kung bata pa siya, ito ako nun, kung wala pang salamat. At- Yeah. Bata ito ka pa nga dito eh, no? Uh, ito yung last na. Uh, ito yung later part na after treatment. Nakasombrero ako kasi na 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 ubusin. Oh, na, yeah. Ito si Valerie at work with uh, her patients. Geriatric kasi siya. So, she enjoys uh, taking care of old people. Ito yung time na nasa ano kami, Australia. One of the malls. So, Mm-mm. dati kami pupunta doon kasi nag-aaral siya palagi. So, ito naman, ito, during itong time na nagpapalakas ako, we try to keep ourselves busy exercising. Tapos nag-zoom-zoom kami. Ito naman yung mga friends ko. Yung mga, they're always there. Yan, yeah, importante rin yung friends, family. They're always there for you, uh, giving you support. Ito, every night, every night we pray. Pati mama ko, yung kasayaw mo. Yeah. Praise na, na, nag-rosaryo kami every night. Wow. So this was yes. taken. So I was the dapat, dapat to be incoming president ng NSA namin. But at that time, yan na after my surgery pa uwi na. Ito during chemo. Nagki-chemo pa na din mga yan. Valerie came back to be with me later. Ito yung after uh, one of those uh, well, the early days during chemo. Mm-hmm. Uh, St. Luke's Day, St. Luke's. Ito as I was Chinese gym. Uh, ito mm-hmm. ang dami na kabit na ano, tube. Ay, ito ang dami naman itong tubo na ito sa katawan ko. <laughs> so I try yeah. to yeah, I try to make uh, parang going from lighter for the family kasi alam ko na nahirapan sila pag nakikita kang uh, nagsasuffer. So I, I said, kaya ko ito, kaya natin. So thankfully because of them being there and always uh, looking after me, Uh, it made it lighter. Hindi ko nga napansin eh. Wala nga yeah. pain, wala nga ano. Kasi nandun yung uh-huh. pagmamahal nila. Uh, that's my, that's, that, that's been one of my most, uh, sabi ko nga araw-araw. Deserve ko kaya ito. 
for everyone. Yeah. Children like this and the family like this. Do I deserve this? Parang, I'm so grateful to our Lord na binigyan ako ng family like this. That's true, that's true. And I'm sure si Val and Nina si Sid as a real fit. Pero being a father myself, alam ko naman na tayo rin nag enjoy dyan talaga. Di ba? Mm-hmm. And uh, what, what's your most uh, enjoyable part uh, as being a father to them? Yeah, being a ito sa, sa dalawang to uh, the the real uh, pleasure the real the real happiness we get me and my wife si Val is seeing our kids na you know they 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 do things na hindi mo na pagsasabihan hindi mo na sasabi mag-aral actually just sabi mo na pahinga ka na kaya sabi ni Nina oh, hindi wala bang pahinga yan oh ito so, nagsasabi mo pahinga ka na sobra na yung aral mo hindi tuloy-tuloy kaya itong exams nila talagang tuloy-tuloy nag-final siya nag-board exam sabay kaya napakalaking big deal yun eh kasi ang hirap you know after two years in Nina si Valerie naman dun sa nasa lugar niya alone siya uh, she, she she learned to live on by herself so you're proud of the things that she's doing yung parang walang idle time din sa kanya they try to make the most of their time para matuto para to continue their their career their dreams. So, in as much as they know, parang sila yung batang, hindi mo na kailangan sabihan na, sasabihan, dad, dad, nakakuha ko ng scholarship para baka menos sa pag-aaral, sa gastos. Yung parang ganun. Hindi ko naman sinabi, kumuha ka ng scholarship. Kasi mahirap eh, pag may scholarship, you have to maintain a certain average. Pero sila, they, they do it on their own. So, sabihin ni Nina, oh dad, hindi na lang ako magre-review center para makatipid tayo. Nagbo-board ako ng walang review center. Sabi ko, okay lang ba yun? Okay na yung dad. Matipid tayo din. Pahala. <laughs> kinuha na lang sa kinuha na lang sa ano, sa sipag. <laughs> oh, that yeah. is really amazing. Talaga yung mga anak mo, no? Very yes. a- ang gagaling nila, no? Oh, that, nice. it's, it's really wonderful that you hear that. Hindi lang sila matalino, pero yung kanilang attitude Yeah. The values, talagang uh, matutuwa ka, no? Yes. May, of course, uh, I'm sure, Attorney Dwight, tatanungin mo si Dr. George ng mensahe niya, no? Yes, diba? I'm sure. And uh, because uh, based on what you're saying, talagang you feel really blessed that you you have Valerie and Nina. So with that, ano naman ng message mo sa kanila, Dr. George? Uh, mga anak ko, I, I, I'm so proud of you too. Uh, I have always... Uh, Uh, been uh, grateful to the, our Lord for giving me both to mommy and me. So, and I'm always so happy of what you've been doing sa life nyo, yung Christian value. Mas, mas, mas ano pa sila ha? Sila yung nagre-remind sa'yo, Dad, Sunday na magmamas pa tayo. Sila yung nagre-remind sa akin. So, iba eh. Iba yung baliktad nga dito. It's them there which who have these values na palaging They, they show us na they're such uh, beautiful uh, persons. Uh, they, they, they have this uh, great uh, love for life and friends. And uh, they also, yung taking care of others, parang natural sa kanila. They, they're always there. Friends can count on them if they need help and everything. Uh, kahit sa bahay, we can always count on them if there's some things that we need to do. So these are the things that uh, we are so grateful now. We don't have to tell them. Kasi iba, you have to tell them. Ito, gawin mo gawin. Hindi. Sila, they, they just do it on their own. That's, that's, that's our, our gratitude to our Lord. And being Christ-centered, God-centered, this family has uh, parang elevated another level. No? Dati kasi family tayo lang. Eh, may nandyan si Christ, pero hindi ganun katindi. But when challenges come, and you know that Uh, part ng healing mo, part ng uh, buhay mo is uh, you, you, need the, you need Christ, you need God to be there. Yeah. So, yeah. Thing. so, if they have families in the future, ito na lang yung siguro. Uh, tama yung I trusted you eh. Ito yung trust. Yung parang natural na because you have children like this. Mabilis magtiwala ka. Hindi ko na nag-iisip. Anong oras ka uwi? Anong gano'n? Wala na. Alam mo na actually sila pa mag- uwi na ka na eh. Ganun hindi na ikaw yung magtatanong. Uh, yung yeah. trust ko sa kanila napakalaki. 
the same way that um, in communications I mean, everything uh, is important so I hope uh, they continue that with their families in the future wow so beautiful and deep <laughs> message from your father and you know Valerie and Nina Attorney Dwight and I no, I'm sure din ako kay Attorney Dwight we share in the joy of your father and we share in the pride that he has for you no so thank you very much for the two of you Valerie and Nina for you know being with us this afternoon and now Attorney Dwight I guess we should bring together Engineer Balog and George Ko. Okay? Yes, thank you Nina and Val. Maraming salamat. Yes. And so let yes. us welcome back uh, Engineer uh, Rick Balog, uh, Vice Dean. And uh, welcome back to the show and uh, thank you once again for joining us. Oh, ito na yung ating pang finale, uh, Miss Evelyn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course, oh, okay. uh, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day po sa inyong dalawa. Uh, myself as well. Uh, Sabi nga nila, you know, it's a very special day for all of us, Ma'am Evelyn, no? Uh, it's the only yes. day of the year that it is our day. Kasi on Sunday <laughs> daw is Father's Day. Every other day in the year will be Mother's Day. Yeah. Siyempre naman. Siyempre And we naman. agree. Because we the agree. fathers. Oh, we, 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 we're the fathers, not complaining. Oh, oh. The fathers <laughs> love the mothers. Tama ba? Yes, uh, Dr. George, engineering. Yes, agree. Oh, naman. Oh, oh, naman. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And of course, they listen. Naminig naman natin yung kanilang mga anak. Ano yung, ano ba yung uh, tingin nyo na parang take home ng ating mga nakikinig at nanonood sa atin? Ano, ano yung, uh, kung baga, ano yung meat ng pagiging ama sa panahon na ito ngayon. Ano sa anong masasabi ninyo? Siguro um, sa natin the experience, no? Uh-huh. Yeah. Kay attorney kay, kay ano, kay uh, engineer Rick. Kasi yan talaga lagi ko yung nakikita eh. Ano ba yung insight na from this conversation? Uh nasa talaga nasa kondisyon ni eh. uh, yung pagkuha ng mga anak ay eh, s'yempre depende rin yun sa kung ano yung nakikita nila sa kanilang mga magulang kaya ang kuan ngayon talaga is lalo na sa panahon ngayon talagang dapat talaga ikuan niyo yung yung good parenting na sinasabi dahil kasi lalo na rin nga yung, sa mga kabataan ngayon na ano na para bang Uh, there is that tendency na medyo lumayo and then uh, they they most of the time they 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 are on their own uh, playing their gadgets and kwan kaya para bang hindi na ganun ka open ng isa't isa at ka close dahil kasi meron nga yung nga yung mga namamagitan ng mga mga gadgets na kadalasan pa nila kasi observation ko yun kahit Mimbawa, yung ibang mga pamilya kahit nag uh, yung nagsasama-sama nasa harap ng isang mesa pero hindi naman halos nag-uusap kung hindi ano yung <laughs> may kanya-kanyang uh, gadget na pinagbibisihan <laughs> yun yung ano na kumbaga uh, yun yung pan eh yung, yung dating closeness ng family ng pan eh nagiging ayun uh-uh. Yeah. So, yes. Uh well, that's really the that's really I think, no, one of the things that this conversation that we just had, uh medyo ito ay contrary dun sa observation na yon, no? Na ito ay parang kalakaran na sa maraming tahanan o sa maraming pamilya, no? Na yung gadget ay nagiging uh isang obstacle para sa communication. Pero nakita natin dito sa ating conversation ngayong hapon sa kwentuhan natin ah hindi siya yung ano hindi siya yung alakaran dito yung gadget ay nagiging unifying uh, element no kita mo yan kahit na malayo si Valerie talagang technology made them closer di ba uh, what about you uh, Dr. George any insight ano yung take home ng ating viewers uh, kaya so, so when I got the script I was I was trying to mull about the idea what I want to share. 
So ito, ito, yung, ito yung palagi nararamdaman ko. Mga bata, the children that you have, they're God's gift to you. Parang God's angel, anghel yan. Tumating dito para, para makasama yung pamilya mo. So to take care of you or for you to take care of them also kasi kaila in-nurture mo yan mga anak mo yan because the, they were God's gift. If you make sure that di mo, di, you won't, you, won't uh, you will do your role very well. No? Siyempre nakakaya naman kay Lord na hindi ka nagtayo ng mabuting ama na binigyan, kinabayan ng mabuti. So that's one. And I agree, ako I agree in part with engineering. Sa pag kumakain kami, walang gadget. Kasi kung hindi, hindi na kami magsasalta. So we have to, during their times of course, gadgets are important like this and communication. Pero uh, during certain uh, times of the day, like uh, during meal time, siguro mas maganda yung walang, bad, walang gadget. And then you start talking to each other. Of course, communication yeah. is the most important thing. You cannot assume ito. Palaging mali ng tao. You assume, akala ko kasi ganun hindi, walang akala if you did talk. Kailangan nag-uusap kayo para alam mo yung totoong nangyari. And you, you, you watch out for the signs na may problema. Siyempre, sometimes ayun yung bother ka dahil may problema siya. You, you look at the signs sa mga bata, alam mo na eh kung may problema yung bata, you, know, you talk to them. And then of yeah. course, trust. The last thing. Tiwala ka. If you, kung maganda ang paglala, pagpapalaki mo sa mga bata, sa mga anak mo, magtiwala ka you can let them go. You, yeah. you don't have to worry about yeah. anything kasi you did your job. Yeah. That is so true. Nako, thank you so much to the two of you. Oh, yeah. At least yun na yung mensahe nila, no? Sa ating mga tatay. Siguro, Attorney Dwight, isang sentence lang. Ano ang mensahe ninyo sa mga anak? Sige. The quick, uh, engineering. One uh, engineering. sentence message sa mga Asi, anak. Uh, <laughs> ito, pero wala nang oras. Ano? Engineering. Para maging uh, malapit kayo sa inyong mga magulang, lalong-lalo na sa inyong mga tatay dahil kasi talagang wala namang magulang na nag-iisip ng hindi para sa ikabuputi ng bawat mga anak. <laughs> Thank you. And George? And yeah. George? So ako, the only... Uh, probably message is uh, I hope I hope that I did right uh, your mom and I did right for you to uh, so coming uh, for you to share with your new family if ever magkapamilya kayo sana na may natutunan kayo o may, may nakuha kayo magandang asal galing sa amin and I hope uh, that would help you also have uh, your families become as happy as what we had okay Thank you. Thank you so much to Thank you. both of you, to Engineer Rick you, and to Dr. George. Thank you. And, thank you. Yes. And thank, thank you, you, of course, to Justin, to Valerie, and to Nina. Nina. Yes. yes. And thank you all for joining us. And so, I think in conclusion, um, napakita natin na in this age and time, still, ang haligi ng pamilya ng tahanan ay ang tatay. Kaya, kaya naman, happy Father's Day to all of you, to all of us. Uh, come uh, this Sunday, uh, enjoy the day, and uh, enjoy being a father, and enjoy being the children of your father. So, once yes. again, ha- uh, syempre. Yes, uh, happy Dr. Father's Dino. Day. Yes. Yes, thank you. And uh, thank you muli sa kating ko, ang uh, paborito nating pamahit. Kapag may sakit sa ulo, nahihilo, sakit sa chan, kati at iba pa, at uh, meron pang katingko alcohol ngayon na bago. So this has been Attorney Dwight Ramos uh, together with uh, Doc Evelyn Songko. Maraming salamat for uh, joining in for Doc Alili who had some trouble uh, in connecting. Uh, see you again next Tuesday for another interesting episode uh, conversation with uh, Miss Angie Poisson. And here at Bridges, we build bridges of faith, bridges of hope, and bridges of love. Have a great evening ahead. Mabuhay once again and happy Father's Day to all once again.
mabuhay. Isang mainit na pagbati mula sa puso, mula sa aming lahat dito sa Bridges. Isang pagbati po ng uh, mapayapa, malusog at uh, magandang gabi sa isang special na araw. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all our third viewers here and abroad. Good evening and good morning to all our viewers worldwide. I'm truly honored to join you tonight. And good afternoon from wherever you're at. And once again, thanks for tuning in. Good evening to all our viewers around the world. This is one of the best episodes we will have in Bridges, certainly, Ma'am Evelyn, right? Totoo yan, because tonight, we're going to feature very, two very well-known natin. Oo, <laughs> ano kanina, nung greetings yung kanina, sabi ko, ay, worldwide pala ito, kaya dapat eh. <laughs> Iko cover ko lahat ng mga greetings ng morning, afternoon, and evening. Thank you very much for joining oh. us this very early morning there in LA. Hindi ko, pin- hindi, hindi ko nga pinagtulog tong anak ko para gisingin lang ako. Kaya hanggang ngayon gising pa sila. <laughs> Siyempre, kailangan ko munang batiin ang ating mga kasamahan na tumasino dito sa Bicol. Ang mga tumasinong Bicolano, marami po sa kanilang nanonood ngayon. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-invite sa akin dito at magandang gabi. At thank you sa mga viewers. I'm so glad po and it's really a big privilege to be here po in this episode of...